A Brooklyn neighborhood is testing one of the first microgrids in America. Lawrence Orsini, founder of LO3 Energy, has watched it come to life. The Brooklyn microgrid is uh, our first project, transactive energy project here in Brooklyn. So the idea is that uh, as a prosumer, someone who has generation on your roof, uh, whatever you produce in excess goes back onto the utility grid. So instead of pretending that the utility grid's a battery and buying it back later, you actually sell it when you make it to somebody else in the community. Gary Golden is one of the 60 prosumers in Brooklyn who feed energy into the microgrid. Two years ago, he had solar panels installed on his roof. We uh, talked through a lot of the trade-offs, but came to the conclusion that we expect energy prices from a traditional utility model to increase in the years ahead and that this investment in a solar rooftop system would uh, be the, the right economic decision uh, as well as for the environment. To keep track of the energy that Gary and his neighbors produce and consume, LO3 has built special smart meters. Using blockchain technology, these devices collect and process data. Then they tally energy use on a mobile app. Blockchain is best known for its role in cryptocurrencies. Only in this case, the peer-to-peer -peer transactions involve energy instead of bitcoins. The technology is key to making the Brooklyn microgrid operate efficiently. Aside from the positive effects the microgrid can have on the local economy, it also provides additional security during storms and hurricanes. So if another superstorm comes through, like Sandy, this section of the grid can actually separate and run under its own power. So if the grid goes down, you have a place in the community where you actually have electricity. People can go, they can charge their phones, they can have communications, they can get a hot meal. The Brooklyn microgrid should only run autonomously in an emergency. For now, it runs on the city's infrastructure while completing final testing. But Lawrence Orsini and his prosumers are working hard for a brighter future for energy.